ओम शांति 18th सितंबर 2022 इंग्लिश अव्यक्त मोरली ओरिजिनल डेट 15th अप्रैल 1992 इस सेंस टू साइंस ऑफ प्रेमेंस फेथ एंड विक्ट्री टुडे बाप दादा इज सीइंग टू स्पेशल साइंस ऑफ ब्राह्मण चिल्ड्रन एवरीवेयर Brahmins means those whose intellects have faith for the intellect to have faith means to be victorious so to what extent does the intellect of each of you brahmins have faith and to what extent have you become victorious the foundation of brahmin life is faith and the proof of faith is victory so are the percentages of faith and victory the same or is there a difference what result would baba have seen everyone experiences a greater percentage of faith there is a lower percentage of victory experienced than faith when you ask people how much faith they have they all say that they have 100% faith however what is the percentage of victory as a result of their faith would they reply 100% to that your slogan is an intellect with faith makes you victorious so why is there then a difference between faith and victory the two signs of faith and victory should be equal should they not however why is there a difference what is the reason for this when a foundation is being made strong attention is paid to all four sides of the foundation so that it is made strong if one corner of the four remains weak would the foundation be strong or would it continue to shake in the same way for there to be the foundation of faith on all four sides that is in four specific aspects there has to be full faith you have been told about these four aspects previously too number 1 full faith in the father whatever he is however he is to understand the shrimat baba has given in the way that he has given it accurately according to the matter to accept it and to follow it number 2 to know the form of the elevated fortune of you the soul with complete elevated self respect to accept it and to follow it number 3 to know your elevated brahmin family accurately according to the matter to accept it and to be part of it number 4 to recognize that this is the most elevated and auspicious confluence age and the time of the entire cycle with that importance to accept it and to move along with it those whose intellects have unshakable faith in all these four aspects and have a full percentage in all four are known as those whose intellects have full and accurate faith these four things are the pillars of the foundation of faith if there is faith in only the father and if any one of the other three pillars are weak if they are not always strong if they sometimes shake and are sometimes unshakable then this upheaval of the pillars defeats you and does not allow you to become victorious any type of upheaval makes you weak and someone who is weak cannot be constantly victorious This is why there is a difference between faith and victory. Many children become very innocent with Bab Dada and have a heart-to-heart conversation and say, "I have full faith, Baba. I am yours. You are mine. That is certain. There is not only one hundred percent faith, but five hundred percent faith. But there is also upheaval." then in order to appease baba you underline it for baba saying you are mine are you not you say very innocently i am yours whatever i am i am yours 
So the father also says, whatever you are, however you are, you are mine. However, is Baba yours as he is and whatever he is? It is good to be innocent, but be innocent in your heart. Don't be innocent in what you say and in your actions. Those who are innocent in their heart are loved by the innocent Lord. When you are innocent in your words, you deceive yourself and you deceive others. And when you are innocent in your actions, you cause yourself harm and you also cause harm for service. Therefore, be innocent in your heart, a total saint. Be as innocent as that. A saint means a great soul. However, when you listen or when you speak, do it in the stage of being Prikaldarshi. When acting, know the outcome of every action by being knowledgeful and then act. It should not be that you say, it should not happen, but it happened. Or that you should not have spoken, but you did speak. This proves that you did not know the outcome of your action and that you performed that action with innocence. Don't think that these things happen because you are innocent. Do not justify yourself in that way. Someone who is innocent in the heart is loved by everyone. So, do you understand in what way you have to be innocent? What is the way to make faith and victory equal? Let there be an equal percentage of faith on all four sides, in all four aspects. What else do some children say? They say, Baba, I have faith in you, but I don't have as much faith in myself. Sometimes there is faith in the self and sometimes it decreases. What is the language of such souls at that time? They only sing one song. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why it's like this, I don't know what my fortune is, I don't know whether I will receive the Father's help or not, I don't know whether there will be success or not. Since you are Master Almighty Authorities, you sing the song of I don't know, when you lack faith in this aspect. What do the third variety say? The third variety say, Baba, I made a contract after seeing you. You are mine and I am yours. I didn't make a contract with this Brahmin family. The Brahmin family brings about conflict. You are okay, but it's difficult to get on with the Brahmin gathering. It is easy to get on with you alone. So what does Bab Dada say? Bab Dada smiles. Bab Dada asks one question to such children. Because such souls do not remain content. In brackets, prasanna chit. They ask many questions. In brackets, prasanna chit. Such as, why is it like this? What is this? Is this how it should be? Is this what should happen? Such a soul is not a contented soul. But a soul who has questions. Bab Dada too asks a question to such souls. Are you a soul who is going to reside in the land of liberation? Or are you going to go into liberation in life? You want to go into liberation and then go into liberation in life. Do you not? So is there just Brahma Baba in liberation in life? Or is there a kingdom? Will there just be Brahma and Saraswati, the king and queen? You are going to claim the inheritance of liberation in life. Are you not? You issue a challenge, saying that the greatest difference between the original eternal deity religion and all other religions is that they simply establish a religion, whereas you establish both a religion and a kingdom. Is this firm? You are establishing a religion and also a kingdom, are you not? So what will there be in the kingdom? Will there be just the one king and one queen? One king, one queen and you, the one son or daughter. 
that is all can there be such a kingdom therefore remember that you have to go into the kingdom to go into the kingdom means to remain content with the brahmin family to make others content and to have elevated relationships bab dada asks all of you do you wish to be part of the rosary or would you say that it is okay if you are to remain outside the rosary and that it doesn't matter do you want to be part of a rosary whether you enter a rosary of 108 or a rosary of 16000 do you wish to be part of a rosary or not in brackets han ji so why are you now afraid of the brahmin family when something happens why do you say baba is mine what would the sisters do what would the brothers do i have not made a promise to the brothers or sisters however this brahmin life is a life of pure relationships a life of becoming part of a rosary meaning of a rosary is a gathering therefore if there is any doubt about the brahmin family if there is any waste thought then that would make your faith fluctuate it would bring you into upheaval baba is good knowledge is good but these dadis are not good the teachers are not good the family is not good are these the words of one whose intellect has faith at that time would you be called one whose intellect has faith or one whose intellect only has thoughts waste thoughts do not allow your intellect to remain content so do you understand the speciality of faith what is the fourth type of heart to heart conversation you have some souls say we understand that this is a very elevated time that this is the most auspicious age that this is the age of souls meeting the supreme soul we know all of this however what happens then you say there is a little time still remaining destruction is not going to happen so soon destruction has been spoken about since the beginning of establishment that another diwali is not going to come so talk about destruction has been going on since the time of the beginning of establishment and so many years have gone by simply talking about destruction even now we don't know when destruction will take place let us rest on the dunlop pillow of a little bit of carelessness and laziness and slack effort we will be all right on time you even underline it for baba and say just see we will claim a high number on time however bab dad always cautions such children if you awaken according to the time if you bring about transformation according to the time that is no great thing but if you bring about transformation before that time then marks will be accumulated for your effort however if you make effort according to the time the time and not you will receive marks in your overall result you will be deceived because of your sleep of carelessness and laziness these are also traces of the sleep of kumbhakarna it is not a big kumbhakarna it is only little what happened to him was he able to save himself he wasn't able to save himself was he in the same way at the end you will not be able to make yourself worthy of passing fully do you understand sometimes you have one variety of heart to heart conversation sometimes the conversation is with a lot of courage and sometimes it is with frivolity and at other times it is with conflict today it is the end of the season it is not the end it is being completed this is why you are being given the result so what do you have to do now check whether the foundation of faith is strong on all four sides or whether instead of being strong it is weak in any one of the four aspects because of circumstances so check this 
you are going to do tapasya again are you not you were told earlier to that you have to give the proof of your love and that the proof of your love is to become equal what is the other thing you have to do baba is giving you homework for the year you heard about one type of work and now this is the second aspect make the foundation strong on all four sides let there be no weakness in any aspect it is then that you will become a bead of a rosary you will be a soul that is worthy of worship and you will be a soul who has a right to the kingdom because you are all brahmins who are to become deities you cannot become a deity without becoming a brahmin therefore to be able to get on with brahmins means to claim a right to the divine kingdom therefore you have to fulfill your responsibility to the family you will have to finish any upheaval there will then be equality between faith and victory this is the great mantra to finish the difference between the two in order for it to be made strong on all four sides the percentage of faith in all four types of faith has to be equal do you understand the homework is clear is it not you are good students are you not or will you say that your homework got lost among the work at your center or in doing the housework of your household you will not say that will you what is the sign of clever students they are number 1 in their homework and they are number 1 in their practical study because they accumulate marks acha what other result did baba see at the present time baba saw two types of cleverness in the children you must be aware of your own cleverness must you not what was the first type of cleverness baba saw that of looking at oneself and of looking at others ones who spin the discus of self realization and those who spin the discus of looking at others these are the two aspects are they not what is the majority clever in bab dada has told you before that the short distance vision of some children is becoming good and that the long distance vision of other children is becoming very good however for the majority their long distance vision is good but their short distance vision is slightly less good they want to see but they are not able to see clearly and what is their cleverness then whenever something happens in order to keep themselves safe they speak clearly about the things of others and make them big they make their own big thing very small and the small thing of others very big baba saw this cleverness in the majority what other cleverness did baba see nowadays you use a very special language you say that you cannot bear to see falsehood you cannot bear to hear about any falsehood and that this is why when you see something false there is a great force inside you is this language right if it is untrue and you have this force inside you on seeing something untrue is this force true or false so that force is false is it not i will do this and show them is it right to challenge someone in this way therefore always remember what the sign of truth is someone who is following the truth and wants to finish falsehood has a good aim however in order to finish falsehood one needs the power of truth in oneself so are being forceful and anger signs of truth would there be force when there is truth if one feels angry on seeing that which is false would be that right Do not feel the heat if someone starts a fire or can you remain heat proof if you have the knowledge that that is the fire of falsehood and you can feel the heat of that then you would keep yourself safe would you not
would you say that you it doesn't matter if you get slightly burnt by the heat of the fire so always remember that the sign of truth in brackets satyata is manners in brackets sabhyata if you are true and you have the power of truth you would never let go of your manners prove the truth but do it with total manners if you let go of your manners and want to prove the truth without manners you won't be able to do so in fact what happens is that you want to prove the truth but you let go of your manners to prove the truth that proof then becomes stubbornness not proof the sign of a lack of manners is stubbornness and the sign of manners is humility someone who proves the truth will always remain humble and will interact with manners so did you understand the second type of cleverness so don't be clever in this way this too is homework to let go of such cleverness and become humble completely humble to say i am right and that one is wrong is not humility people of the world also say that if someone is trying to prove the truth then there is something or other not quite right it has become the language of some children to say i am telling you the complete truth i am speaking 100% truth however there is no need to prove the truth truth is such a sun that it cannot remain hidden no matter how many walls come in front of it the light of truth cannot remain hidden a truthful person would never say i am telling the truth others should say that you are speaking the truth acha what will you do now self transformation do not worry about transforming others that is not being one who has good wishes for others you then say i am not worried but i am one who has good wishes for others however to forget yourself and have good wishes for others is not called being one who has good wishes as well as for others let there be concern for one self first if there isn't concern for yourself and you try to have good wishes for others the arrow will not strike the target and you will not be successful first of all there has to be one self and along with one self others this is pap dada's love from the heart for the children the sign of love is that one cannot bear to see any weakness in those for whom there is love one cannot bear to hear about their weakness one would make even that one complete this is the true love of the heart pap dada is the conqueror of hearts and this is why he gives love from the heart he wishes to see every child become equal and elevated he wishes to see every child as an image of success not an image of effort but an image of success acha to the elevated souls every year whose intellects have constant faith to the intense effort making souls who constantly bring equality between faith and victory to the souls who constantly stay in self respect and have accurate benevolent feelings for self transformation and the transformation of others to the souls who constantly become equal to the father and constantly give the proof of that to the souls who constantly have an accurate heart to heart conversation and finish waste things love remembrance and namaste from bab dada the conqueror of hearts we such spiritual children extend our love remembrance say good morning namaste and many many thanks to the spiritual bab dada blessing may you transform negative into positive and become a self transformer and so a world transformer explanation for any negative thought or sanskar to be transformed and made positive in a second 
you need to practice having traffic control throughout the day because the speed of wasteful and negative thoughts is very fast. At any time of a fast speed, apply a powerful break and practice bringing about transformation. You will then be able to transform your waste and be able to become a self-transformer and so a world transformer. Then with your angelic form, you will be able to give many souls the blessing of happiness and peace. Slogan Only those who remain aware of the knowledge of the drama can be victorious with the matter of nothing new. Om Shanti Notice Today is the third Sunday of the month and all Raj Yogi Tapasvi brothers and sisters have special meditation from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. Stabilize in your form of light and might and while invoking Bab Dada in the center of your forehead, experience the combined form and do the service of spreading rays of light and might everywhere. Om Shanti